Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn what is circulatory system. So, circulatory system also known as cardiovascular system. When we think about circulatory system, the first thing comes in our mind is the heart. The heart is the main organ which pumps blood through all parts of our body. So that's the reason we are alive. The heart has a special muscle which is known as cardiac muscle which uh, works tirelessly throughout our body throughout our whole life it works until we are dead so starting with the consistence so uh, the circulatory system consists of heart blood vessels blood and limb limb is going to be continued in another episode so the human heart has special muscle that works tirelessly until you are alive the name of the muscle is cardiac muscle. The human circulatory system circulates blood through the mm -hmm. loops or double circulation. One for oxygenates, uh, oxygenated blood, another for deoxygenated blood. So I will explain you how this works. When you inhale, the oxygen goes to your lungs. It is stored there. And the deoxygenated blood which is not filled with oxygen and it is filled with carbon dioxide and waste materials waste materials this is uh, called, known as deoxygenated blood then the deoxygenated blood comes back to the heart and then it goes to the lungs it gets filled with oxygen and now it, it is now a oxygenated blood the oxygenated blood returns to the heart then it is plumbed, uh, pumped to the whole parts of our body so this is how it works so the heart pumps two times for a single circulation first it pumps to the lungs then it takes then it pumps to the body so that's counted as one circulation the heart is enclosed by a double layered sac known as the pericardium which is filled with a um, pericardial fluid this pericardial fluid uh, this pericardial fluid uh, prevents shocks and jerks while contraction and then the human heart consists of four chambers right ventricle and left ventricle uh, right ventricle left ventricle right auricle and left auricle <coughs> so then arteries carry blood from the heart and veins carry blood back to heart so the oxygenated blood is carried by arteries to the whole parts of the body and then the uh, then the veins uh, bring the blood which is the deoxygenated blood from the uh, from all parts of the body to the heart so veins have less pressure than arteries because because ventricles pr uh, pump the blood that is uh, that is they have a lot of pressure in it so arteries does not need valves valves uh, it's a f new term we have come across valves uh, valve is a door like structure which opens only in one side which is for a reason for uh, to prevent the backflow of blood so it is present in when veins because there is low pressure <coughs> now the circulatory system carries ox not only oxygen and uh, the, because the body does not only require oxygen it requires few nutrients and some hormones or cells so blood is the like the transporting machine for our body so blood carries not only oxygen with nutrients uh, nutrients cells and also hormones including oxygen the heart has four valves as we have discussed that we need valves for low pressure area heart is a low pressure area while we uh, while the blood enters in it while the blood excretes uh, while the blood leaves the heart that time there is a high pressure but th there is low pressure while the uh, heart receives the blood so the uh, receiving chambers is a new term which are uh, which is named for auricles because the deoxygenated blood from the whole parts of our body comes to the auricles that is no that's why auricles is known as the receiving chambers and ventricles ventricles pump the uh, blood to all parts of your body so they are also known as discharging chambers so now we have come to the end of this episode and thanks 
like share and subscribe my video and i'll meet you in the next episode thank you have a good day